what is this? Well, it'll soon become apparent. As we zoom in, we could see things that we have seen all throughout the shotgun histology series. We could see a lot of big nerves. They're wavy, they're loaded with Schwann cells, and we could see that all of these big, big nerves are in very close proximity to another type of tissue which has huge, huge, huge cells. This is a ganglion. This is a dorsal root ganglion, or DRG. The dorsal root ganglion has two kinds of cells. It has these big neurons with big nuclei and big nucleoli, and they're surrounded by a smaller kind of protective cells called satellite cells, which kind of uh, protect these neurons like glial cells do. And then we have the actual neurons. They are pseudo-unipolar neurons. Uh, and uh, can we go a little bit deeper? Yes, we can. The various types of neurons in the body uh, can be classified by generally uh, function and shape. And if in these neurons, which you could see are classical neurons, you could see nissel substance, you could see a nucleus, you could see a good nucleolus, and you could see a little rim of protective satellite cells which are a special type of glial cells for dorsal root ganglia. They protect and nourish and uh, help these big neurons, much in the same way astrocytes do in the central nervous system. And all this granular stuff is nissel substance, which is RNA. And uh, there's usually a huge nucleolus if you're lucky enough to cut through it. In fact, the general principle is that the nucleolus of a dorsal root ganglion pseudo-unipolar neuron is about as big as the whole nucleus of the surrounding satellite cells. Uh, there's a, perhaps more nerve along here. I'm sure there's probably a little fibrous tissue supporting the whole thing. This is your classical uh, dorsal root ganglion. And yes, there's a lot of fibrous tissue here as well. And I think we're going to call it a day and just say this was a nice dorsal root ganglion. I thank you very much.